Hi everyone, and welcome back to another exciting reading of Papa's comic books and coffee. Well, today's episode will be the Legion of DC Superheroes. Welcome to Smallville, Smallville, USA. This is number 37. $1.50 back in August of 1987. This is by Paul Levitz and Greg LaRock. As always, if you're interested in this book, it is available on my eBay webpage, papas-comic-books. Okay, let's see if we can get into it and find out what happens. Legion of Superheroes, A Twist in Time, The Remains of Metropolis University Time Institute, 2987 A.D. <clears throat> Keep your head turned away, colossal boy, between some boy polishing the crystal antennae and my heat vision doing spot welding, this glare's dangerous. I appreciate the warning, mon -El, but my eyes couldn't look into that glow if I tried. I am amazed at how quickly... Your legionnaires have reassembled the time beacon, Brianic 5. But are you c c convinced there is not something more vital for them to be doing than a favor to your old teacher? Nothing, Syracadia Senis. The survival of Earth may depend on our ability to travel through time. Let's get situated here. Okay. Everybody, back now. I'm going to put the final polish on the beacon crystal. To affect the super cold inertial crystal structure, I have to project absolutely pure light, as coherent a beam as a laser. And just watch that burn. Phew! Perfect. And for that moment, at least it appears we're in time. You are far ahead of any of my schedules, Brainiac. I meant we're finished before the time trapper resumes his attack. We expected him to follow his destruction of time in the Institute by an all-out war on our century. That's all based on Comic Boy's guesswork, Braining. We have no proof the trap is behind the damage. If history itself has been altered, some boy, you, who else could be responsible? It's beyond any mortal power. Lightning less. I don't want to waste time connecting the beam back to the city's power grid. Can you charge it? Sure. The only question is whether it can hold enough power in a single burst instead of being supplied current gradually by the fusion power sphere. Only one way to find out. Cocoon. There she goes, Brainy, bright as the heart of the storm. Excellent. Block Timber Wolf, bring up the special time bubble I prepared. We're ready to leave. Wow, that looks like a lot larger than our old time bubbles. And heavier too, lightning lass. Stop complaining, bloke, and stop, stop wobbling. Timber wolf, bloke, please be careful. I added equipment to counter what the time trapper may do to us, but it is not in invulnerable to clumsiness. Whatever you added, Brainy, it won't be enough. I only hope you're wrong, Cosmic Boy. Either the trap has grown more powerful or he's flaunting it more. Lita and I only got away because he played another of our silly games. I wish we didn't have to go back and face him again, but I guess there's no alternative. None, Night Girl, which is why this mission will take the entire strength of the Legion. Let me call the others. What? Polar Boy. Sorry, Brainy, but my first job as a new leader of the team was to make some arrangements with the Earth Gun, Earth Gov. And they don't take kindly to the whole Legion taking off when the planet may be about to be attacked. Labyrinth rapidly gaining a reputation in the underworld of the United Planets, this newly built replacement for the destroyed person, prison planet Torin. Galados is considered less humane, but far more secure, as prisoners are rarely allowed full consciousness or mobility. Encyclopedia Galactica. 
Prisoner transfer to the ground station completed. Beep. The devices prepared for the Universo are ahead of us. Tell us. Bring him along <clears throat> with your telekinesis. I am glad it is so easy for you to find your way through the maze, sensor girl. Compared to holding Universo, I think this that its simplicity itself tell us. <clears throat> this should hold him, Jackie. He's never been physically powerful, and if he's in suspended animation, he can't hypnotize anyone. Still, I wonder. He's almost a pure evil force, barely human. Moments such as this make me grateful my expanded powers are still unable to duplicate yours, Saturn girl. I shudder to think what you see when you look into the mind that's sick. The Time Institute. I can't say I sympathize with your priorities, Polar Boy, but I'm not going to waste my breath arguing. At least you're letting me take responsible, take a responsible team with me. You might be better off with a select group than a small army, Brainy. Cosmic Boy's got a point. Besides that, if the trapper strikes here first, or the dominators decide to capitalize on the damage Universal did to Earth, or what if we don't come back and the time trapper does Polar Boy? I can frame a hypnosis for any situation you can suggest, none of which get us any further. All I want to know is how Polar Boy picked the team. I can't figure out his strategy. I'm not asking, Rock, since he's letting me go even though I'm not a legionnaire. Besides, when he was running the, the substitute heroes, Polar Boy was known for courage and institution, not logic. Intuition, not logic. Oh, great. Good luck, Legionnaires. If all we have on our side is luck, Polar Boy, we're going to be out of a lot. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next stop, the Trapper Citadel at the end of time. Providing you new, your new gimmicks can let us crack his iron curtain that's always kept us out of the distant future, Brainy. 2980, 2970, 2950, 29. I believe they can, Monel, I've improved the bubble in many ways. Good, but I hope one of them is a device to ride out time storms, because here we go. Hold on, Monel. You provide the forward motion, and I'll try to stabilize our time travel. The bubble itself holding up fine. Okay, I have no idea which way is forward, Brainy, but I'll keep pushing. <clears throat> the end of time marvelous I warned Cosmic Boy that the next time Legionnaires entered the time stream they would doom themselves and their sentry and they have done so anyway they are predictable fools all I need do is sit here and wait and I win for mine is the eternal victory of entropy, entropy. but that is not rewarding enough let the great game I sent in motion so long ago be concluded. I shall grant their secret desire. Let them travel to the one time they surely felt was denied them. And in granting their wishes, I shall achieve mine. I will give them everything and take it all away. How sublime. The time stream. Brainy, I can't even see the time bubble anymore. Everything's gone insane. Hold on, Monel. Just hold on. By my fingertips, Brainy, but I may have to crack the bubble to do it. Look, there's a pathway clearing. We're making it. Push us through, Monel. You're right, Brainy. It is a clearing, but what century are we headed into? It must be the end of time. We're breaking the trappist barrier. One last push, Monel. On three, Brainy. One, two, three. Terrific. What that did, what that's terrific, that should do. Oh no. What is it, Brainy? What happened? Didn't we make it through the storm? We're through the storm, all right, Ultra Boy, but it seems we're going back in time, not forward. Forgive me, Brainiac, but I have never been able to fully grasp human concepts of time calculation. 
Is not the end of time also the beginning? So if we have gone backwards, will we still not reach our destination? I'll debate theory with you another day, bloke. Right now, I have to figure out when will be when we get out of this time stream. Hmm. Vector analysis. Yes, that's it. Superboy's time, right? How is the stars? Did you calculate that correctly, Night Girl? Welcome to Smallville. Brainy, sometimes open eyes are effective as a computer. Look. Legion headquarters, dream girls' quarters. How bizarre. Usually my dreams that see into the future are so clear, even if they show only a little glimpse of something. This time everything was so cloudy, impossible to tell what was going on. But the images were powerful. I feel like I had a fever. Ooh. I don't like the feeling. <clears throat> Smallville, USA. I don't get it. This is Smallville, just like I remember it. Down to the home of Superboy postcards on sale everywhere. But how can this exist if Superman's history says he never was Superboy? Take my word for it, Cosmic Boy. This is really Smallville. You only visited I lived here. I'm glad we left the others Guarding the time bubble, Monel, between the storm and the time stream, and this messing with the past, the time trap is definitely up to something. This even smells like the old Earth I've heard about. Clean. There were the early years. These were the early years of the technological revolution, Night Girl. Whatever. I like it here. Litter. Watch out for that automobile. Hunk. Oh, sorry. Please accept our apologies, sir. She's feeling a little lightheaded today. Uh, I remember you. You're Police Chief Parker, aren't you? That's right. Don't recall meeting you, though, lad. Bob, Cobb, a friend of Tents. Oh, yeah, stayed with them a few years back, didn't you? Nice to see you again. As for you, young lady, you better go home and lay down. But thank you, sir. I will. Same look, same smell. Now the same people. It's real, all right. Ultra Boy Legionnaires, what are you guys doing here in the dark ages? Pete, Pete Ross, buddy, are we glad to see you? You're proof everything's okay here. Sure, everything is okay. It's been weeks. Ever since Superboy saved us from those weird red skies and that energy wall. Red skies? Yeah, it was real strange. For a few days, like Judgment Day was coming or something. Then it all stopped, went back to normal. Superboy must have saved us like he always does, but he won't talk about it. And he's been laying low ever since. Is that why you guys came? It might be connected, Pete. But frankly, we didn't intend to come to your time period. We were tossed here. Wow, that sounds rough. Is that really truly grown in the dirt by hand food? Sure. Have an apple on me. That'll be five cents for the Macintosh, Ross. Thanks, Mr. Jones. My friends didn't don't get much farm fresh fruit in the city. Oh, oh. I'm glad we made you an honorary legionnaire for guarding Superboy's secret identity since his, you accidentally discovered it, Pete. You make us feel right at home. <clears throat> There's a lot of good in ancient times we've lost as technology advanced. That's what got me interested in history, I think. It's been fun chatting, guys, but I know who really, I know who you're really here to see. Let me do a disappearing act. And you can see if Clark's out being a hero or just unpacking the peaches. See you later, Pete. I hope. Land sharks. Pa, look. It's Monel. And some of the Legionnaires. Huh? Hi, Mr. Kent. Mr. Kent. Gosh. How you boys have grown, but why? Oh, hush, Pa. There'll be time for that later. Uh, introduce us around, lad. I don't think I know the young lady. Jonathan Kent, this is Lita. Jeth, better known as Night Girl. The Kents are the two sweetest people in the whole 20th century. Science Police Headquarters. Earth, 2987 AD. Warning, all officers crime watch system will be, 
will be down for routine maintenance during the night shift tonight. Science Police Dispatch. This is dirty work, Gigi. Did you have to pick me and shaven me to help and shaven me to help the drones with it? Couldn't we get a civilian? The crime watcher programming is too sensitive to allow civilians near it, Lieutenant Dron. Remember what happened last time we did? And I'd appreciate you using proper address while we're on duty. Yes, ma'am, Officer Cusimano. Complaining's not the mark of a SP who's going to get ahead, Ron. Don't bother, Siobhan. Just finish the coupler, Lieutenant, and we're done. Great. When I can, great. Then I can get back to important work. Is it my imagination or is he getting less mature, Gigi? Impossible. He'll never earn his own command. Excuse me, officers. My name's Marella Towell. Could I have a little of your time and some advice? Legion headquarters, I hate this. It's rotten to be separated from Joe when he's on such a dangerous mission. He needs me. Come off it, Phantom Girl. Isn't it time Ultra Boy learned to think for himself, if he still can? Considering your relationship with Duplicate Boy, I think you can hardly criticize someone else for choosing Braun over Brains, Violet. Old news, Shadowlass. At least I outgrew my mistake. Ah, the energy. They waste arguing with each other. I hope you don't mean me, Dawnster. No, Wildfire, never you. Good. I didn't want this conservation to start off on a bad note conversation. Note, not when I'm here to show you the new me. What do you think? What? Smallville. Keep the potatoes moving, boys. I have some cross buns coming from the oven, and I need a spot on the table for them to rest. And please don't jiggle the dishes in the air the way Clark does. It gets me nervous. Mrs. Kent, I've never seen anyone set a table to match you. Aw, oh, shucks. Clark will be home soon, so eat up. You're all growing, and you'll probably be rushing off when he gets here. Look at you, Cosmic Boy. You're all grown since that day you came here to invite Clark to join you in the Legion of, in the future. My, that was a proud day for me. We had to invite him, Mr. Kent. He was the inspiration for the whole organization. He was the greatest hero in history. You're making me blush, Cosmic Boy. Superboy, we were worried about you. Nice to see you, chum. One at a time, one at a time. I know you must be here for something important. It's not often you guys come back to my time anymore. Why don't we talk about it in the basement? while Ma cleans up. I don't know where to start, Superboy, or how to explain it. I guess our first question is, are you really you? Huh? I can give you all the Legion signals, even a secret handshake. But nobody could impersonate me well enough to fool you guys, except maybe Monel, and he's right here. I wouldn't try. Unfortunately, that's not a problem. Yeah, I wish it was that easy. There's nothing you guys can't handle. The Legion's the mightiest group of heroes in the universe. Just look at all of you. I forgot about the statuettes. Wow, do you look impressive altogether like that? Very impressive, which is why I have to do this. Whoosh. Sorry, my friends. Oh, what? There, that will hold you. In time stasis, you're as the frozen as TV dinners and just as helpless. Did you, did you paralyze them, Clark? Yes, Pa. They said four more Legionnaires were hiding in the time bubble near the town line. Yup, they did. Son, are you sure this is the right thing to do? It's the only thing I can do, Pa. Don't let it trouble you. It's on my conscience. Hi, Mrs. Kent. Well, hello, Lena, dear. How are you tonight? Whoops. Awful. Clark, I gotta have your help right now. My life depends on it. Oh, gee, Lena, I wasn't feeling too good. Please, Clark, just a few minutes. Help me with my algebra. Legion headquarters, the mission monitor board. Should I have given it to the EarthGov element lad, or should I have fought harder? They seem to have a point. I mean about leaving Earth, defenseless and all that. 
Everyone always has a point, Paula boy. The hard part about being a leader is you have to decide for yourself. You wanted the job badly, now it's yours. Yeah, but I don't want to mess up. Trust yourself. I think being leader brings out the best in a legionnaire. Look at how well Dream Girl did and how seriously she behaved for the first time in her life. For that matter, look at me. I certainly did better as a leader than I ever expected to. And for the record, this one time, I would have done exactly what you did and listened to EarthGov. Phew! Smallville. Is it not taking too long for the others to return? You've got to make allowances for the time period, Invisible Kid. No communications, transportation. More significantly, Sunboy, they can't use their powers or their flight rings openly. We don't want to interlude on history. Traveling in the time seems too dangerous to me. I recall horrors of the past that were only words in my classroom. Diseases like black plague, smallpox, insanities like racial hatred. I don't know which seems more peculiar to me. Silicon life knows no organic disease. And, wait, bloke, the time bubble's relaying an emergency signal from Cosmic Boy's flight ring. Since Monel and Ultra Boy can handle anything this side of Valdez, Valdus, I'm afraid it's serious. We must run for it, Legionnaires. Huh, Pete Ross? Go while you still can. The others went into Kent House, screamed, and no one came out. Oh. Take the time, bubble, and scram. Easy, Pete, catch your breath. I told you. We need to know what happened to the others. Please, if some monster's powerful enough to attack Superboy, Monel, Ultra Boy, and the others, you've got to go. Get the rest of the Legion. Well, reason, but then you must come with us. No, I'll go back and try to find out more. Nobody suspects me of any connection to the Legion. Come on, Brainy. Monel can always bring the others through the time stream under his own power if he has to. Let's all, let's at least get ourselves to a safe distance and think this out. Very well. Good luck, Pete. And whatever else happens, you've proven yourself a worthy of being the Legionnaire. There they are. <clears throat> Got him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Great Krypton, too late. Getting out of tutoring Lena wasted too many minutes. Superboy. Was that truly Superboy beaming some sort of ray at us? A, st a stasis beam, according to our senses, which was barely missed? I thought we found the real Smallville, but if Superboy was evil, it couldn't have been. He saved my life dozens of times. We must face the possibility, son boy, that there is no period in history that the time trap is tampering has not totally corrupted. Smallville, USA. It's awful, but I have no alternative. The Earth, Smallville, maybe this whole, whole, whole universe is depending on me. I won't let you down, Ma, Pa. I'll save you. Even if it means I have to track the Legionnaires through the time until I've trapped each and every one of them. Whoosh, crack. 1970, 1980, future, here I come. The end of time. Ha, 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 ha. I've given them all their heart's desires. The Legion found their treasured past. Superboy may have his little world safe, but as soon as... As they take their gifts, they shall find they have destroyed time itself. Now, let me bring all the players into play together for a final act. When it's done, all will be dust, and the time trapper shall rule eternity to be continued. Dun -da -dun, dun -da -dun, dun -da -dun, dun -da Look up at the sky. What is it? It's the Legion Outpost. It's the annual Soup Adventure of Superman, 1987. Get a free subscription from DC Comics. Green Arrow. Well, I hope you enjoy that reading of Legion of Superheroes, number 37, $1.50 back in 1987. As always, if you wanted this book, you enjoyed this book, it is available on my eBay webpage, along with a host of other ones, papas-comic-books. And like I always say, 
That was easy. So until next time, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, give me a like, give me a comment, tell me what you hated about this thing, tell me how stupid it is. Let me know. Just talk to me. Until next time, Papa, out.